this channel. No! No! Hey everybody, it's Brie Hall and I'm back with another video. So recently I did a lot of work in my videos and I showed you in my last two videos how to beat procrastination and get to your dreams and accomplish your goals like the self-help queen I am. On today's episode, we have a special guest for someone who's been procrastinating, just not getting anything done, being kind of problematic to themselves and I, I think I think it's a good time to bring them out. Let's bring them out, okay? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Who's that Pokemon? Different. You know what I got underneath this? What's something to do rag? Another do rag, Ooh. man. So I guess it's safe to say that um old habits die hard. And in today's video, it's time to finally take down and take out our mini twist. Now I've had these mini twists in since November 23rd. That's two and a half weeks. <laughs> But don't judge me, okay? Because that was then, and this is now. And I'm not the same person I was three minutes ago. So we're gonna take these twists down. I'm feeling lazy and I'm contemplating even taking them down. Because guess what I just realized? Somehow, some way, Jose, some of my twists are still wet on the bottom. Gonna take a recess, we'll be back. I'm gonna go sit under the dryer for a second and try to correct, and try to correct my mistakes. What if procrastination gets the best of me today? So they're dry now. They were just lightly damp. We're gonna put these up in a ponytail and then just literally start pulling them out one by one. But yeah, y'all, what's up? Hope your weeks are going well. Okay, to start untwisting, what I do, it's like um, when you undo a problem that you have caused for yourself, you're gonna twist in the opposite direction. So the quickest way for me to do that is like this. And then once that loosens the twist, boom. You just pull out the ends like that. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Am I twisting it the wrong way? Yeah, and then you just untwist. I've been doing a good job at retwisting these, but there's always a chance that some shed hair is going to get in here. Because you had your hair in a protective style. I'm not so much worried about the like edge crown area of my head, but more so like the middle, the middle of my head. I don't know what to talk about today. Like I'm just feeling kind of good. I've been reading some books. Was planning to read last night for like 10 minutes, you know, being all cute, being all Pinterest, and then I ended up reading like 50 pages, and I was like, who are you? Shout out the definition. In college, I was too impatient to ever let my twist out dry all the way. So this is this is an experience. I, I can't remember the last time I had a fully dry braid or twist out. Oh wait, see, look at me rushing, jumping the gun. See, there we go. Ooh, child. My mom's birthday is tomorrow, so I have some really cool stuff planned for her. After college, just trying to find your groove, like how Stella got her groove back. Totally different plot, but I, I've just been trying to get my, my ish together, you know what I mean? You pray for all this time, but don't take school structure for granted because literally a little bit of structure never hurt nobody. If you're somebody who's leaving high school or leaving college or whatever, or just leaving a structured environment for a non-structured environment, I suggest doing something that does have structure because after college, you can get into a time frame where you start like, you start forgetting what day it is. And that's where, that's where I think post-grad depression be coming from. Uh, oh, we got dark. Oh no, no. Okay, we avoided the frizz. But yeah, like it's just when you don't have something to look forward to and you don't even know what day it is, um, and then everything's kind of just like one big blur, then you just stop, you, you stop getting excited about stuff as much. At least, you know, when you're in college, you're like, okay, one more year left, you get to count down and stuff. But when you're out of school, it's like, dang, this is just like the rest of my life. <laughs> like, that's a long time. Or at least I think it's a long time. I hope, you know, God blesses me with a, a long life. Shrinkage is wild. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out Jayla's unraveling video. We've just been cracking up talking about YouTube and stuff like that. I was trying to be ahead of the game, okay? I was really trying to thrive and kick Vlogmas's butt, you feel me? And I was like, I'm gonna do this. So I thought I was the baddest in life because I was like, yes. You know what I mean? I pre-filmed y'all. I was like, oh, 
who is she? Like, I literally wanted to know who I was. I needed a new copy of my birth certificate. I needed to know whose mind was in my head because what in the name of productive, right? <laughs> See y'all, y'all thinking I had like 30 videos pre-filmed. I had two videos pre-filmed and scheduled to upload for Vlogmas. And I just was like, yeah, I'm gonna stay two days ahead of everything. I'm gonna be on top of my game. And here we are same day like where i'm literally filming and editing a lot of these videos on the same day so i'm trying to get back in a way where i'm like at least one video behind myself because y'all like the pressure i wake up every morning and i'm like looking like the squidward meme like what am i gonna do today i got the nicest message recently somebody was like how um i know brie will come through with these vlogmas videos like i'm so excited that she did this like you know what i mean i know she's gonna post every day and i'm sitting here like you know self-image is a is a whole different beast and i think of myself as somewhat unreliable when it comes to like sticking to exact times for stuff like arrival times the mission time it's it's usually not gonna be like days late unless i'm really just going through the world right now you know if i submit stuff days or weeks late or something call the cops well, no, no, call the cops i'm back. call my mom and tell her happy birthday <sighs> i don't know if i ever do something that late something's wrong and i'm forgetful as well i forget stuff all the time i retwisted a lot of these real small when i went back in and it's making it so that like the unraveling process i really don't feel like i have to do a whole bunch of um separation i'm i'm usually if i'm gonna submit something I, it might be like an hour or two late like i might be like hey y'all this video is coming up in an hour and then it's up in two but i'm trying to work on it y'all i'm trying to work on it but this adhd road is like its own journey and struggle and then there's the whole emotional side to adhd that people don't really talk about because you know i don't know they're just not but this is that real ish like that like how do you expect people to be happy if we can't talk about sadness you know what i mean like talking about sadness doesn't make me sad it just you know it helps alleviate because it helps me come to solutions it helps me think of new ways to get out my feels i think it's a good thing but yeah adhd has a sadness component that really kicks my butt sometimes because i really be hard on myself what's good is vlogmas has been so healthy for me y'all because you know how i said you need structure structure is so important it's just so important now all the anxiety i feel around filming and it's not getting on here talking to y'all like talking to y'all ain't nothing i feel like all my peoples i feel like you're in the bathroom with me I hope not. Okay, but you know, theoretically, I feel like y'all are in the bathroom with me. And you know what I mean? I'm just having a combo with y'all. Like the actual filming isn't the hardest part. And I said that in my last video. The part that should be difficult isn't. And then the part that's the easiest is the hardest. <laughs> like starting is always the hardest thing ever. The actual action is not that hard. But yeah, I used to just get anxiety around filming because I was like, oh, it's gotta be perfect. I have to plan it. I have to get the right backdrop. I have to do X, Y, and Z and backflip 37 times mid-air for everyone to see what I've done. And then I realized, no, not doing that, not feeling that we're beyond that. It's a different time frame. So I'm just like, feel like a little Uzi Vert, you know, now I do what I want. Doing what I feel pressured to do is not only unhealthy, it's kind of boring. And I was like, if I feel this stressed, about making a video, then maybe it's not, you know what I mean? It's not the right kind. And now that I've been doing Vlogmas, these videos feel so easy to make because <laughs> it's just me being nothing but me. As I got closer to a million, there was like that pressure, that pressure to be great. And granted, I am not apologetic about my quality getting better or whatever, okay? Because this, this quality, well not this quality, we're not going to talk about this quality. We're in my bathroom right now. It's not allowed in the bathroom that is um, forbidden. There's a sign that literally says, don't do that in the bathroom. So we're not going to do that. The quality of my studio has gotten better and all that stuff. And I'm unapologetic. But nobody on YouTube should feel forced to do stuff like that. It's called YouTube. Be you. On the two. I'm reading a book about happiness. <laughs> Funny, reading a book about happiness. I basically said that in science, once upon a time, they thought that the sun revolved around the earth and the earth was the center of the universe. 
then this one scientist came along and said, hey, you're wrong. The sun actually is the center of our little solar system. That's why it's called the solar system now. And the earth rotates around it and the sun keeps it alive. <laughs> when he came along and said that, the author of this book I'm reading literally said, hey, a lot of people think that success is the earth. To this day, you still think that happiness, the sun, revolves around success. You must sacrifice happiness for several years to get success, right? Lies, the lies they tell. It is scientifically proven that just like the sun and the earth, success rotates around happiness. People who are already happier to begin with and already, you know, and I'm not talking about being content. I'm just talking about generally finding the good and stuff. You know what I mean? Trying to like have a positive attitude or just in general, you know what I mean? appreciative people who express gratitude at every stage of their being whether it's a good scenario or bad tend to be more successful so uh you've been lied to you've been hoodwinked and bamboozled but it's okay because i'm here to unbrainwash you but here's the thing all the broke people i know that are like money does buy happiness da 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 I, I challenge them to like change their outlook on life you know what i mean because when i look back at being broke Yes, there were days I literally had to walk a mile in pouring rain because I didn't have a car and I was living in my friend's basement for the summer. You know what I mean? And I'm carrying my backpack and I wrap my laptop in an outtakes bag from the cafeteria. And yeah, but guess what? While we were all in that apartment slash basement broke as hell, but we was down there cracking jokes, playing games, constantly laughing all the time. We were all broke and we're in a, this little basement that looks like a hallway that a lot of people would feel like trapped in. We had wires hanging from the ceiling. It looked like a hot, like, Yo, it looked like a hot mess. It looked like something that would possibly take my life if one of those wires just snapped one day. But you know, YOLO, we was risking it and I survived. But at the end of the day, at that time period, I was still making YouTube videos regularly and you would never know I was in a, you know, trapped out basement because I was happy. I didn't have all the resources, but I was happy. And look at where the channel is now. So success comes from happiness and not the other way around. That degree won't make you more happy. That relationship won't make you more happy. Achieving your biggest dream won't make you more happy. It might give you a sudden jolt of immediate satisfaction, but it won't change your general sense of happiness. So what have we learned here? Stop focusing so much on the end result and focus on the now. You say, I've always wanted to be more athletic. Be more athletic because you think that when you cross a finish line for like a freaking marathon, the first marathon you ever run, that's the happiest day of your life. No, no. The happiest day of your life is every single day that you train. The happiest day of your life is the day that you felt unmotivated. Like you didn't want to even get out of bed, but you forced yourself, that you forced yourself to get out of bed even when you felt terrible. You completed your training and you're getting in your car and you're driving home. That's the happiest day of your life. Stop taking these small moments for granted because literally you will be the most depressed, sad individual if you rely on the future consistently because it doesn't exist yet. That doesn't even make sense. Like really think about that though. Somebody's like, hey Brie, you need to go grocery shopping. And I'm like, oh yeah, in the future, um, but my groceries will teleport here. Of course, there's like delivery services, but you get my drift. If I'm like, oh yeah, in the future, my groceries will teleport here, and I'm just like. People are going to look at you some kind of way because they're gonna be like, um, that's the future, you need groceries now. You need happiness right now. So find the smallest things in your day. Ask yourself a few questions. What are you looking forward to tomorrow? What are you looking forward to at the end of this year? What are you looking forward to next year? That's a quick way to feel happy. What are you anticipating? I have a cool brand deal coming up. I'm really looking forward to that with a company that I've always wanted to work with. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the dinner that I'm about to eat that is literally cooking right now. I'm looking forward to my mom's birthday tomorrow. Just list stuff with me. Like, what are you looking forward to? It don't gotta be grand. I know I talked about a brand deal 
You're probably like, it's easy to say you look forward to stuff for you when you have a brand deal. No, 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 no. We're not, we not doing that. That's a cop-out. That's a cop-out. What are you looking forward to? Think about it. Ain't nothing wrong with being happy right now. We live in a society where we always constantly just want more, more, more. And literally, there's a song that said the um, most unhappy people have the most. How do you think they got the most? Because they had to keep obtaining stuff because every time they obtained something, they still were not happy. And you know what's funny, y'all? Ever since I've worked on my happiness, my retail adventures have gone down significantly. Um, we're gonna just ignore my Alta video altogether that just happened, but I'm just saying. Like all these natural hair gurus, they're posting a new product every day and I can't keep up no more, okay? I can't keep up. I, don't even, I haven't even finished the stuff in my closet yet, y'all. Slow down, slow down. Wait, wait. <laughs> That's how I feel. By the time you press purchase, there's a whole new video up. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna use what I got. I'm gonna finish what I got. And I'm not gonna get no more stuff till I'm done with what I got. Unless it's like the most, like, you know what I mean? It's also my job to like review stuff and do all that. So I'm not saying I won't ever get stuff, but I'm less tempted to just get stuff I know for a fact I don't need. Now, if it's something I just wanna try, yeah, that's fine. Cause I'm interested in it. I'm like a little kid in a candy store when I go into like Sally's, but that's a whole nother story. That's just general excitement. But I know for a fact I could walk out the store with nothing in my hand and still feel genuinely the same way I felt when I came in. And if not, then you have your answer. There are some internal things that need to be quenched. Uh, I'm, I'm getting into a place right now with this video where it's getting so long that I don't even want to edit it. Y'all, this definition is wild. <laughs> Am I going to do these again? Yeah, I'm definitely doing these again. Also. Quick plug. So I've been binge watching um, all these Disney and Nickelodeon like holiday specials. If you go on YouTube, there's these live streams where they stream all the holiday movies. And like they did Proud Family Kwanzaa. Oh my freaking goodness. Yeah, they did Proud Family Kwanzaa. That was lit. You thought this was the end. You thought this was the end. Like, no, I got I got a little bit more to go, y'all. <laughs> but we we're getting there and like. God is good all the time. <laughs> all the time, God is good. You see this definition? But now that I figure out how to do my twists in a cute way, because before I just do any old kind of thing and have rods in my hair. My driver's license picture looks like a set it off mugshot because let me tell y'all this story. This is the tea. Almost at the end. I know I'm gonna leave a twist in here somewhere. That's not. I'm twisted. Oh. All right, y'all. I'll be back when this is done. So this is the final look. Look at the movement. Look at the movement. I'm shook. Homemade shea butter for the win, y'all. But anyway, so this was a W. Even though it started off as an L, but you know, two L's make a W. Okay, we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this untwisting video. Peace out. Okay, okay.